the Threshing Flail. At this point it is probably one of my favorite weapons to spar with. Yes, you've heard that right. Spar. In my opinion, the flail is one of the few polearms that are mostly sparring safe. You make the heads out of PVC pipes and cover them with isolation foam. Remember to not make the staff part of your flail too long. 150 to 160 centimeters is sufficient. Here's a video of me getting hit in the head as hard as my clubmate could with one of those sparring flails. And again, cleaner this time. The straw man that lives rent free in my head will now of course say, wait a minute, this isn't realistic at all. The head is way too light unlike on a real flail. Well I have a counterpoint, it doesn't matter. It most likely never mattered. When the thrashing flail was used in the Fechtschule during the 16th century, it had its very own practice version, most likely a simple sack filled with hay or straw. If it was good enough for them, it'll also be good enough for us. In my opinion, these practice flails also served as a dusak like tool to practice other pole arms with heads with. That's probably why, for example, Joachim Maya shows children fencing with them. Overall, there's no real disadvantage to using a lighter head as a practice tool. Almost every other weapon-based sport has a substitute. The plays will still work the same way as they would with a heavier head. Still, even though these sparring flails are mostly safe, there's never a guarantee. Be careful at all times. There's no reason to be a buffer and hit somebody on the head as hard as you can. Stay at a reasonable pace. We are doing a sport together. It's fun practice. Respect your clubmates and their health. And don't forget to wear a mask. If you want the full flail experience, then it would be best to buy yourself a real thrashing flail for solo practice. Try out Paulus Hector Maya's place against an imaginary opponent. When I did it, the place that I previously practiced with the light sparring version of the flail suddenly made way more sense and opened my eyes to the why and how of Maya's place. Of course, some things are easier with the light sparring version than with the real thrashing flail. You don't really feel the sparring flail pulling the staff down and you can easily hold it at the butt end all day, even with one hand. This is of course not possible with a real one. The weight of the head will pull it down. However, I must reiterate, this does not make light sparring heads worthless. They are exactly what we need so that we're even able to spar and also able to pressure test the place. And if you're worried about the place not working with the sparring heads, don't be. The place work exactly as intended. If you have any questions, feel free to ask more in the comments. We love talking about everything Paolo Sector Maya and historical fencing in general. Thank you.